Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Natasha Lim. I'm the Medical Director of Dr. Natasha Lim Eye Centre and we're in partnership with Novena Bladeless Cataract Surgery and Eye Specialist Centre. The first question is, what is a cataract lens implant? If we look here, the natural lens in the eye turns cloudy after a certain age. Usually around the age of 50, it starts to have colour changes and we call it a cataract. When it starts to hinder your vision, you will have it removed and it needs to be replaced with a lens implant. The implant these days are made of acrylic and they are foldable so they are able to be rolled up like a cigarette or a spring roll and be able to pass through tiny incisions on the eye and released inside the eye to replace the cataract that was removed. So cataract surgery is essentially a lens exchange. You are exchanging the cloudy lens for a clear lens implant. The cataract implants can come of all sorts of shapes. They could be in a round shape or they could be in a square shape. So there are various shapes and patterns. How long does a cataract lens implant last? Well, the answer is that it lasts forever. It is of artificial material and unlike biological material which ages along with us, the artificial material is ageless and have no lifespan. Even when you turn 100 years old, it will still remain the same transparent colour with no colour change and no increase in size. Whereas the biological lens, if you were to leave it in the eye, Every year as you age one year, the colour gets cloudier and cloudier and it increases in size, it expands in size and therefore the power of the lens change, changing the prescription of your glasses on an every year basis. So you need to update your glasses on an every year basis. But once you've changed the biological lens for an artificial lens implant, the artificial lens implant will never change in its power and hence the refractive power of the eye will remain stable for life. What are the different types of cataract lenses? Broadly speaking, there are two types of lens implants and they are the monofocal lens implant and the multifocal lens implant, also known as trifocal, because the three important distances in everyone's life would be near, intermediate and far. You were to look at the monofocal lens implant as its name implies, on any point of this implant, there is only one power. If you were to choose this implant to be put into the eye and you power it for far, then this eye can only see far and cannot read. If you were to put this lens into the eye and power it for reading, then this eye thereafter can only read and cannot see far. Some people would opt for bilateral monofocal lens implant in their eye and program both eyes for far vision Thereafter, they will continue to wear reading glasses for all near work. Some people would like to power one eye for far and one eye for reading. It is called monovision and in so doing, they would lessen the dependency on reading glass. When you go to the eye centre for assessment of cataracts, then normally you will get to simulate monovision to see if you like it. Some people would get on well with it with no headaches or giddiness and other people would start to complain that they feel a little bit imbalanced with it. If you were to like monovision, you can certainly take on this option because it is a cheaper option. If you were to feel imbalanced with monovision, then perhaps you may be better off with other multifocal lenses that offer binocular vision. However, they are not without their own disadvantages. As you can see, these rings may cause some gland halos issues, particularly in the night time, because in dim environment, when the pupil were to dilate in size, and that is the pupil, it expands in size in dim light and dark conditions and then these concentric rings of the multifocal lens inside your eyes are being exposed and then they would cause the phenomenon of glare and halos particularly for nighttime drivers. Normally these uh, phenomenons are temporary for approximately four to six months post-operatively and gets better with time and in the event they are stubborn, uh, work can be done on the eye to try and reduce them in a the form of laser polishing also known as a yak laser capsulotomy. Ah.